So I'm back at the parking lot to test out this uh, performance lag phenomenon that I reported in the last video. We're going to figure out what this is based on your comments as well as uh, trying out a few things when we are down here. Welcome to another video, I'm Henry Olsen and if you want to learn how to make better videos with your camera and drone in general and maybe figure out why your Mavic Mini all of a sudden loses power, then consider subscribing to my weekly tips, tests and tutorials. It's uh, significantly more windy today, so uh, if the problem still occurs, we would definitely have an easy way of spotting it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to establish a baseline. I'm going to launch it with, as you can see here, the 142 app as we used in the last video. And we're simply going to fly around. Video enabled, 2.7K. And uh, just try and see if we can get into a situation where it simply stalls and will not move forward. But as you can see right now, it's... The drone is behaving exactly like I would expect it to be, or to do. It's responsive. It's being... So now it's basically straight headwind. Even though I'm sitting in here in the car, it's... Uh, it's not stalling in any way the same way that it did the other day. So I'm not really sure what went on, but uh, there was some uh, pretty good suggestions uh, that I heard before about uh, the props are being warped when they are stored in the case uh, for the fly more combo. But um, as the problem has seemed to somehow have gone right now, and I just want to show you how much wind there is. Let me just show you that. It's actually a lot more than it was the other day. You see it's being tossed around, so it's fighting to keep the position. <laughs> so you can see it's a lot more windy today than it was the other day when I tested. And I'm not seeing the problem. Let's just fly a little bit more around here just to see. So it's, it's perfectly stable. Now I'm flying a little bit crazy here. Ah, now it's fighting a little bit. But still, I can move it forward, even though the wind is uh, pretty strong. Let's assume that I maybe have this wobbly prop phenomenon. I could understand this will give me like an ESC error because you have sort of vibrations in the motor and all that stuff and it changes the pitch so and, and all sorts of uh, things. But uh, I can fly it now in this strong wind without any issues. So something tells me that it, this is not it. So let's try and kill off the DJI Fly app here. So let's do the same exercise with the Ligi app. Just start the video here and we'll launch it. Let's see if we're seeing any issues here. No. Performance is still nice. It flies around like you would expect it to. You can see it on the grass, that is windy. So that's not it. So let's... So let's try and do like an automated mission here. Go under waypoints. Ooh, I can't do that because I don't have the waypoint mission here. I need to switch to my iPhone to be able to do that. So then we are getting that part tested as well. So we have the Ligi app here and let's just, uh, before we do the waypoints, just fly it again. See? So, testing out. I would not expect this to be different, not at all. Flying downwind now. No issues at all. Let's turn around. 
See, flying against the wind now. It flies super nicely. Super nicely, there's no issues at all. So back and let's land it and then let's do the autonomous mission. So find the waypoints. And take the test two, which is basically this one. And then we execute it, start now. And as uh, you probably recall when I did this mission the last time, We ended up in a situation where when it reached waypoint four, we were starting to see the error. And right now it's just doing what it's supposed to. Now the bus is coming. So we might want to cancel this operation. <laughs> Let's just pause it here for a sec. So, there's a bus. Can I turn the gimbal? No. Can I turn the drone? So, let's continue the mission. That's the cool part. You can simply start and stop your mission. So now it's moving to the next spot. Strong wind, fly with caution. We saw that last time. So it's going home. Let's just do one more that is uninterrupted. The only plausible explanation that I can uh, somehow give to this is that uh, it might be something with the batteries that are being left with a high charge for a longer period of time, not being capable of uh, providing enough uh, thrust when, uh, when you're flying around with it. Because that is basically the only thing that I changed since I made these uh, tests was that um, when I made the test, I was using the batteries that I had. And uh, when I went to my father's place over the weekend, I fully charged all four of them, including the controller. I think for the sake of it, I will just fire up uh, the, the iOS TGI Fly app, so we verify that this one is working as well. Let's verify this is 143, yes. We need to switch it in video, like that. And everything is set, record. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, as you can see, no issues, but that's also downwind. No issues normally here. So we turn on, turn around, go against the wind. We film the bus. And we can follow the bus. We have a low battery. Yeah, 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 yeah. But still no problems, even though we are low on battery as it is right now. So let's just land the drone here. So that was a, like a follow-up test on this uh, strange phenomenon. What I don't like is that I don't have found the root cause of the problem. So right now we have tried Android, one for two flying around, no issues at all. We have fly, we have tried the Ligi app flying around, no issues at all. We have switched into uh, iOS, flown the Ligi app as FPV, like normal flight mode, no problems. We have done two automated missions, both successfully completed. So right now, there's nothing wrong with the drone. It's also not because the props have been bended during storage. And let's just put them in here so you can see. 
you can see that they are not even folded down to the chassis. So that was not the case. I know that you probably will claim that I can't see it with the naked eye, but come on, I've been flying RC stuff for a lot of years. <laughs> A small bed, there's, there's nothing wrong with these props, nothing at all. So uh, bending uh, warps and firmware or DJI fly up versions, I don't think that was the problem. The only thing that I can see as a common denominator between uh, what I've tested so far is, uh, is the batteries. But it seems um, it's not depending on the, the DJI fly up version, it's also not depending on operating system. It, so my conclusion is this has to be a power bank related or battery related uh, due to storage of the batteries. Do you agree or do you disagree? Then let me know in the comments below. In case you missed the video where I described the original problem, then you can access this video through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.